Hi guys, welcome sa Sip9. In this video ay tuturin natin yung series natin on LaTeX. In this video, pag-aaralan natin yung uh, code ng mga expressions sa trigonometry at sa precalculus. No? So, for the first example, how do we code uh, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1? So, pag nag-code tayo ng sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, etc., ay merong backslash yan. No? For example, yung sine, backslash sine, then squared. Pag nag-code tayo ng Greek letters, such as theta, ay may backslash din. So, ibig sabihin, plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Okay. So, pwede natin i-save and i- run. O, yan na siya. One more example. We have, if you are familiar with the sine law, we have sine alpha over a is equal to uh, sine beta over b is equal to sine gamma. Mag-frack pala muna tayo. Kasi fraction siya. Sine gamma over C. Run natin. Okay, so ito siya, no? And kung naalala nyo yung ating uh, uh, command for um, enlarging the font, no? Para maging mas malaki ito katulad nito, lalagyan natin siya ng backslash display style no? before the track. So backslash display style. Save and then... May space, no? Dapat wala siyang space. Okay. So, yan na siya, no? Malaki na siya, di ba? So, kung gusto nyo lagyan ng space in between, pwede nyo lagyan ng backslash v space. Tapos, kung ilan yung gusto nyo space. For example, 1cm. I think hindi ko pa natuturo yung command na yan, no? So, lalagyan mo ng vertical space na 1 cm in between. Okay, maglagay na rin tayo dito para sa susunod natin. Yung uh, other expression such as logarithms, ganun din, no? So, for example, yung one of the properties, um, log of uh, xy to the base a is equal to log so, kung mapapansin nyo, yung log ay meron din siyang backslash no? of uh, x to the base a plus log of y to the base a. So, yung base natin yung uh, underscore, no? And yung a, yan yung naka-underscore. So, yung katabi lang nitong underscore yung naka-subscript. Kung gusto mo naka-subscript yung buong ax, talagyan mo nyo ng grouping symbol na uh, curly brackets. Okay, so yan siya. No? So, nakikita nyo ba pag walang, pag walang backslash, naka, ano siya, naka italic. Ito may backslash. Ibig sabihin, nakalimutan natin yung backslash dito sa log. Which is, ito yan. Okay. So, um, minsan, gusto rin natin magsulat ng um, Systems of equations, no? So, dito, ang gagamitin natin para tayo ay makapagsulat uh, ng systems of equations ay uh, gagamit tayo ng bagong package, no? Ito pa natuturo to sa inyo. Pero naturo ko na sa inyo mag-load ng package, lalagay natin use package system. So, yung gagamitin natin ng package yung system. Pag gagawa ka ng... Uh, uh, systems of equations, 
gamit yung system in a package. Again, na uh, naturo ko sa inyo na hindi lang yan yung pwede. Maraming klaseng packages na pwede yung gamitin. Pero ako, ito yung pinakamadali sa akin in terms of systems of equation. So, gagawin lang natin is um, lagyan natin ng space muna. So, para gamitin yan, we have uh, backslash system E no? tapos yung mga equations nyo separated by a comma. For example, uh, x minus y plus z equals 6. Tapos another equation, uh, 2x minus z equals 8. And another equation, for example, 2x minus 3z minus 3y plus z equals uh, 4 kung mara. Tingnan natin. Okay, so ito siya. Meron siyang ganito. O, may minus 7z pala to. Okay, ang maganda sa system E kasi kusa niya nang ina-align, no? Yung uh, equation sa ibang, I, I think many of the packages, may mga packages na hindi niya ina-align yung, yung uh, equal sign. Right? So, pinaka-last is yung uh, paano ba gumawa ng um, piecewise function. Isa din yan sa importante sa pre-calculus. So, pag piecewise function naman tayo, gagamit tayo ng another package, yung use package AMS math. So, yun naman yung gagamitin natin na package to create a uh, piecewise function. So, pag gumamit tayo ng piecewise function, for example, f of x equals, tapos yung uh, piecewise mo, maglalagay ka ng begin, cases, tapos, matatapos ka sa end cases. And cases. And dito mo ilalagay in between yung mga um, equations no? ng functions. So for example, uh, 2x comma when x is less than or equal to 3. So yung ito, yung comma na yan, after ng comma, lalagyan natin siya ng separator na ampersand. Tapos, bawat equation, maglalagay tayo ng dalawang backslash para ibig sabihin susunod na na, na equation. So, pangalawang equation is x squared plus 2x no? when x, kama ulit, tapos separator, anong condition niya? When x is greater than 3 but less than or equal to 5 and then ito ulit double slash ulit and lastly we have the third equation tatlong equations lang tayo is e to the x comma and then separator and x is greater than 5 here Pwede namang walang period. But, uh, pwede nyo i-check kung ano maging itsura. So, ito na siya. No? F of x is 2x when x is less than or equal to 3. x squared plus 2x uh, when x is uh, greater than 3 but less than or equal to 5. Tsaka e to the x when x is greater than 5.